So let us learn about the Java output stream, how you can write data to your destination file. Normally an output stream is used to write a data to a file. You can write a byte type, you can write a character type. But for character type, it is recommended to use file writer. Although file writer will internally use file output stream, but it is always recommended to use file writer for your character type. So in this program, first we will see how can you write a single byte to a file. So we have used the package that is java.io.file output stream and in that we have created a class called byte output stream. Why I have named as byte output stream because I am trying to read a single byte. And then in the main method, I have thrown what kind of an exception it may throw that is for IO exception. In our previous video, we have seen that the file output stream was initialized as null value and the other way is to directly provide the value. So in our try block, we have used the file output stream class, created an object with the help of new keyword followed with the file output stream constructor name and then in the bracket you have provided the file where you would want your data to be written. That is nothing but a single byte to be written. So you write your file output stream class name, you create an object with the help of new keyword followed with the constructor name and then your file name where you would want your data to be written. Now when you write the data, I am saying system.out.println the byte value is. I want that the byte value is so and so. So how do you write the data? You need to write the data with the help of a method called write. And this method, write method is available from your file output stream class. So you call on the object of your file output stream class. So it will be fos.write and in the bracket I have provided the value which needs to be written. So I have written it as 80, therefore this value will be written to your destination file. And once you have written a single byte, you need to close the connection, right? How would you close the connection? By calling a close method, which is a output stream method, right? So close method is on file output stream. So you write FOS, that is the file output stream object dot close method. So this is how you close the connection. And once you know this may throw an exception, the next is immediately you need to write a catch block saying what kind of an exception it may occur and this exception will be handled by this exception handler. So you write catch, in the bracket you write an exception which is of a subclass of throwable and then you create an object. And then if you want to print what kind of an exception has occurred, you write system.out.println and in the bracket e. And when you write this, it will show you if an exception has occurred, what kind of an exception it is, whether it's an IO, file not found exception, what. But if you want to know where exactly did the exception occur or which line, what is the status of program, then you use a method called print stack trace. Okay, so you would write e dot print stack trace. So let us execute this program practically in order to understand how do you write a single byte to your destination file which is your file.txt. From this example, let us see how you can write a single character to a file. So in order to write a character or read a character, the first thing that we need to know is that we need to import the package which provide us the classes to write or read or perform the input and output operation. So the package that allows us to do this is java.io package. So for the first thing in this class that we have done, we have imported a package. So you write the import keyword java.io is your package name dot file output stream class because this example explain us or uses the file output stream we have extended this package with your file output stream class and if you want to present or if you want to mark as a wildcard you can also do that and when you write wildcard it means that all the classes that is available in this particular package will be available for this particular class right so this is how you write and then because the class when you are working with the input and output operations it is always recommended to use the try catch block or what kind of an exception it will throw it is always recommended to predict that so we say that it may throw an io exception and even the exception fall under your java.io 
package you do not or you may not want to write the package or import the package again and again what you can do is that after io you can just write the wildcard which says that all the classes available in this io package will become available for this particular class so we have written a class called write char and this class main objective is to write a single character to a particular file so under this particular class we have created the main method and this main method may throw certain exception so to hold an exception either you can write the try catch block or you can use the throws keyword and then write the exception name so you write the exception name comma if there is any other exception like file not found exception it can be written by after this io exception comma and so and so so the exceptions can be separated with the help of comma and now in the braces first we write the keyword or we have instantiated the class which is file output stream class and this class is available in your io package so you write file output stream you create its object reference equals to new keyword and this operator allows you to create the object reference remember if you have written file output stream nf1 it means you have just created but not instantiated it means your complete object is not yet created your object is not holding any memory space when will your object hold a memory space when you write the new keyword followed with the constructor name that is nothing but your class name and then in this parameters you are providing where is the file located and in which file do you want to store the character that you would provide in your program so now in this object the file output stream object you have the location of the file located now you have one of the method of file output stream which is a write method which allows you to write a character or string of characters to a particular file so you write the object reference of your file dot the write method and in the write method we are providing an ascii character that is this number 65 will represent any one of the alphabet and although you can also use this write method to write a string of characters but it is always recommended to use file writer to write string of characters however you can write the string of characters using file output stream as well and then once you have written a single character to a particular file then it is always recommended to close the file because it says that if this particular object is holding any particular resource please remove that now once the purpose of this object holding the resource is completed please release the object to be available for anything else that is now the object which was earlier allocated or blocked by this particular object f1 will now be available for any other objects and finally we print okay fine this program has been successfully done and the value or the character is printed in the document and it says please go and check once if it was printed or not so let us execute this program and it says yes please check the document if the character was printed so let us go to the e drive in the e drive you have files folder and then you have the write stream and now as you can see it has printed the ascii character so this is how you can print an ascii character using the write method of your file output stream class the next one is how you can write a string or a number of bytes to your destination file in our previous example we have seen how you can write a single byte let us see if you have to write series of byte how do you write that so we have again used a package called java.io.file input stream that output stream which we have imported and then we have created a class called byte output stream and in the main method we says it may throw an io exception in the try block we have created the file output stream object which will hold the information what kind of a file it is whether it's a txt file or what kind of a file it is and where is this particular file stored so you have to give the complete string where this file is there and in which file do you want to write 
the next is that what kind of a data would you want to write in our previous videos we have seen how do you read the data and then write but here we are trying to say that i have certain information that i'm providing in program and this information or this data has to be written to our output or the destination file so i say i want welcome to tutorials point to be written in our to be written in our destination file so this data we will store in our string variable because this is of string type so once you know the data you need to write normally when you have to write a single byte we just use the write method over the file output stream object and provided the value but now when you're trying to write a string of bytes then what do you have to do you have to call each and every byte and store in an array of byte first and then you start traversing the data from this array of byte and write it to your destination file so first we create an array of byte that is byte of array b and in this array of bytes we will store the data which is there in our string variable and how would you store you will use a get bytes method to over this string variable to store the data in array of byte so you write equals to s dot get bytes so you are calling get bytes method over your string variable which holds the information and that information will be stored in array of byte which will hold number of arrays which will be holding each of this data in an array form and then you need to display how would you display with the help of an write method that will be called over the file output stream object so you write fos dot write in the bracket b because b is your array which is holding all the string the string of your bytes and once you write the data will be written in your destination file and this is where you complete your process right so after you complete again repeating it is always recommended to close the connection so we close the connection of this file output stream with the help of a close method so we write fos dot close method so now after writing a try block what kind of an exception it may occur you need to provide that catch an exception and the exception details will be in this e object so let us execute this program practically in order to understand how you can write a string of bytes in your destination file in this example we are trying to write a series of bytes in a text file in our previous video we have seen how you can write a single byte in your a file right so in this example let us see how you can write a string to your file we have created a class called byte output stream 1 and in the main method we are using the try catch block we have already seen that in the case of files where you are trying to manipulate the file you should use or it's a good practice or recommended to use try catch block or you can say it throws these exception like io exception okay and so on so you can write what kind of exception does your particular class throw so we have written here under the try catch block under try block we need to write the block of statements that you may anticipate that it may throw a kind of an error so we have created here a class where we are trying to store this class in our output stream we say that this class this file is particularly available and this file may be used to write where we want to write the data in this particular file to write data we use file output stream class we have created an object where you can name it as fos or anything that you would want to then equals to new file output stream and then we have provided where we have a file called as write stream and in this write stream we would want to write the data as welcome to tutorials point so what do you want to write you want to write data as welcome to tutorials point in your write stream dot text file so this particular data is of a string type therefore we have created a string variable now in order to write a single byte you are able to just directly copy with the help of write method but now when you want to write series of bytes then you need to first get each and every byte of your string and store in array of bytes so we are getting the bytes with the help of a method called get bytes and you are getting it from string variable s 
where this data is stored where you have welcome to tutorials point so from s we are getting the bytes one by one and storing it in array of byte and how do you declare array the kind of a type that is our data type and then the brackets and then the array name therefore now you have your data that is welcome to tutorials point stored in array and then how would you write it with the help of calling the object name dot write method of your file output stream and you are trying to write what the array of bytes which is stored in b and then finally you close the connection so that there is no resource leakage and then this particular object can free up the memory which can be used by any other object and once if you are able to write this particular data successfully to your file write stream dot text then please print the message as success and if there is any error please catch that error which may be of a throwable and then you print it okay so let us execute this file to see the output and it says success so we, let us go back to our e drive files and write stream to check if this was printed we go files and then you have write stream and it says welcome to tutorial point so let us again check i have saved this file closed it i go back here and then run the program just for our cross check and now let us open this file and it says welcome to tutorials point so this is how you can write a series of byte to your files or the file that you mentioned you can write a single byte or a sequence of byte normally it is recommended to use file writer if you are writing a large text